Welcome to clickmeproject.com. The title of the project is Novel Hybrid Intrusion Detection System for a Cluster Wireless. Let us see the abstract of the title. The distributed networking, we have the system to cluster the detection. The intrusion detections for using to the KDD 10 data set. The SVM classification to accurate the result of the accuracy to detect the normal or anomaly behaviors for the data set. Then. The detection system, we have the SVM classification and signature based detections to high detection the rate for the load. In the KD10 data set, the classification using to the SVM to learning and classify to the result of the KD10 data set. The long traces, everything will be tracing approached. Then we have using to the signature database. The signature data, signature based detections, we have to use to the rule based database. The rule based, we have taken to the features of the KD10 data set. The collection of features we have taken to the four or five features. The feature retrieved to the information of the distribution direction. The direction information clustered to the normal value and abnormal value for the KD10. The values will be directed direct, uh, direction from to the KD10 data set. The signature based is supposed we have using to the rule the normal and abnormal separate to find out the KD data set. The data set contains 35,000 of records. We have direct into the protocols and the source rate and the region and count basis. We have using to the rest. SVM classifier and the signature data based detection. We have using to the to the information for highly directed to the wireless sensor databases. We have using to the KD data set for, for the wireless sensor networking range. Contain the following features and retrieve the information for the intruder. What are the intruders inside the direction system? Let us see the flow of the diagram. First of all, we capture the packets, then the anomaly detection engine. In the anomaly detection engine is to packet for abnormals. The normal directions will be the node process is the normal. Suppose if yes, so this is direction. This direction we have matching to the signature based databases. So we have using to the KD data set the anomaly packets the abnormal the normal detection should only be received. <coughs> Suppose the abnormal result we have the misused detection engine started. This engine started we have using to the signature based detection. The signature based detections we have the corporate detection and the suspicious node. Suspicious nodes we have the intruder is easily identified to that. Suppose we have the cooperative model, we have to the rule based vote. The vote model we have using to the U rule based. The U rule based we have directing to the this direction for the signature. So normal or abnormal. So normal is a separate for the abnormal. If yes, is the subaccession node is a intruder. So the directions range will be followed for this flow. The clear flow mentioned to the decayed in data set base. It's not like to the client server model. So it's not like to the client server model. It's the data set model. The data set contains the network features of the information. So the detection based to three steps we have following. First of all, we direct the normal or abnormal detections. Then the misused directions we find out to the signature databases. The signature databases we find out to the road rule based models to detect the ex ante of normal and abnormal for the intruder detection system. Let us see the demo of the project. This is the hybrid intrusion detection system's main form. Click to the browse button. Click the data sheet for. First of all, we take into the Saramac data sheet. The data store. Still wait to the process. The data size and the data records will be successfully added. Click to the data viewport. The viewing port will be the source and designation and protocol and the information of the protocol. So we are using the filter and taking for the protocols. So clicking to that. So you click that. HTTP protocol. Filter. <coughs> Only you see the protocol for the filtering techniques. TCP, we're taking the TCP, taking the filtering for the TCP client. So the source and destination for the TCP client we mentioned to this this data set. Next we have seen to the KDD, close the button and KDD 10 data set will be loaded. Then extract the result. We still to wait for the result of the extraction. The data set extracts successfully. 
respect to the V fault. So it's connected to the fault to the features of the KDD10 data set. So first of all, the alarm detection of the SVM LAN and the SVM CLAN. Click, click the SVM LAN, first of all. The URL needed to the data set. Click the SVM. Click the SVM CLAN. It's a console application to read. Click the data set for. So, so model files. You select the model file anywhere, any location. You click the TXT file for the log section. I click the models TXT. The next week, click the log trace file. I click the log file. Check and open. Click the SVM LAN. The console application will be reader for the SVM LAN. SVM LAN EXE. The after the result, we get the classification. The successfully data traced. The SVM classification is using the SVM classification console. Click the data set, it's the same data set. Classification model. So, for the value to land in the classification, you click to the model. The classification output, I will take to the new log file of the output. I will click the output and the log trace file. I will click the log trace file for the classification result. Checking to the classification result, the result of the process will be generated to the console application. The successfully data traced. So the SVM classification result will be generated for the true value. Clicking to that, we are checking to the lag trace model. So the output of the normal values will be generated for the one. Next we have go to the anomaly detections. The anomaly detections we are checking to this detection point, dress code. The source range will be highest range of 0 0.1.00. If you check the point it will be normal, the auto checker is a point is abnormal. First of all, the score directions will be checking, the anomaly direction will be checking. This is the process already directing to the abnormal value. Checking the status of the normal, the status will be abnormal for loaded. Suppose we checking to the packet normal, the detection, click the anomaly detections. This is a TCP client, TCP client is wherever your data set will be displayed for the detection. Suppose the designated database is rule based signatures. So if you click to the normal basis, we have directed to the signature direction for the signature basis. Suppose you direct to the normal basis, the score direction, we click to the Go to the misbehavior detection. The misbehavior detection for the abnormal result, we check to the misuse detection for the data set. So this is the misuse detection. The intruder will be checking. This protocol type of intruder, intruder detection is this. So we have the intruder for the misuse detection of the abnormal. The result of the detections will be shown for the graph model. The intrusion detections, we checking to the data for the ICMP protocols intrusion. Next we have go to the signature level packet normal this type of packet normal some more intruded will be hide for this database the signature detection will generate to the rule basis we take into the rule of the cluster protocol and the cluster src byte and the cluster designation byte and the count and the difference go straight we clicking to the first of all the protocols loaded and the cluster resource loaded and the distinct value will be filtering for this signature rules then count then the src the component model will direct them to the protocols. So I will check to the protocols for the TCP or uh, three type of the protocols we have directed to the KDD. So I first of all I will checking to the ICCMP. So the rule classification result will be generated for the ICMP. The next will be the abnormal intrusion direction. Suppose you click that, the abnormal result will be shown for this one. The result of the abnormal. Suppose you select that the result of the normal values. So both constructions will be generated for the classification. Suppose it's not no abnormal, you take the result of the ICCP. So the protocol precision ICCMP provided to the normal and abnormal status for the detection. Okay, suppose I will change to the UDP, the same protocol and the rule classification of the abnormal, the UDP data content to the abnormal data. So checking that detection, this is the normal value of the UDP protocols. So the rule-based reduction will be generated for this model. Thank you.